different versions of yourself. Like who you are with your grandma is not who you are with your lover or your best girlfriend or best guy friend from college is going to be different than you are with your that parent. You put that together. It was gross, yeah. Well, no, just the way that you behave. You know, <laughs> there's different versions of it. There's different versions of yourself, you know? So, yes. It's like, what do you want to dial up and what do you want to dial down and what do you want to be known for? There's different versions, but I think what I was wondering was like, are people fake? Are there versions that are more true to what they are versus, see, I mean, we're just going to go deep. From we are, we're, yeah, we're just going right into major surgery, aren't we? <laughs> um, I think people have an idea of how they want to come across. Yeah. And sometimes the reality of how people perceive them is not in sync or in, in alignment, alignment with the person that they want to be. And the fusion of those two realities is a lot of the work that I do. And through showing people playback of themselves, whether it's an appearance they've already done mm -hmm. or something that we do in real time during a coaching, I'm like, I, f I feel like this is who you are. I feel like this is kind of what you want to be portraying, but we're kind of over here. Like how I think we can dial this up and dial this down and, and you might be more in alignment with what you actually want to put out in the world. And that like how to do that. Is yeah, the, yeah. Kind of and it is slightly a technical medium, right? It's a technical medium. What do you mean technical? Well, I mean like this kind of the couple of things that you mentioned. Like you specifically, not everybody, but when people get nervous, they do one or two, one of two things. They will either crawl into their shell or they get kind of manic and hyper, right? I think so, I would be quieter. Yes. So, and I think it's all of your years with being in the medical industry and needing a bedside manner and probably having to talk to people yeah, when true. they're freaking out. I think you're right. You probably needed to chill. chill. And so when you get nervous, your energy is like... <laughs> it's right? so true. No, that's, that's exactly right. And that's not who you want to be when you're on live national television. <laughs> you want to be your most dynamic, telegenic version of yourself. So you actually have to kind of work against that. So if you know that that's your baseline, that that's what you're going to do every time you get nervous, you're going to be like, okay, Larry, I know I'm going to get nervous. I know my energy is going to get low. All right, Larry. I need to amp it up. For someone like me, who I, you could probably tell I'm naturally caffeinated, if I gave myself that same <laughs> advice, I'd be like saccharine through the roof, like Do you have to dial it down a I little have bit? To dial it down. Oh, okay. I have to dial it down. So for me, like before I do something, I have to do deep breathing exercises. Oh, really? Some stretching. Like, probably because you've performed enough that you've got, you can like, yeah. you're probably, yeah. to, you can dial that up and down.